So, the big race of the day, race seven on your card is the Grand Steeplechase to Paris. A group one event over three miles and five furlongs. Number one is a fleet lip for James Shea, Claude Monet for Paul Rhodes, De Novo for Darren Thompson, G.I. Joe, the favourite for Leon Van Rensburg, Great White Hope for Joshua Sutherland, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do for Pontypool Racing, Casban Mulligan for David Robertson, Muldoon's Mirage for Martin Linham, Yesero for Darren Thompson, Await Your Reply for Leon Van Rensburg, Belga Hero Jude for James Shea, Chingford Cross for Hems, Come Shamed for David Robertson, Roach for Paul O'Neill, and Sheeta for Craig Beckwith, Leaves Trivandron for Ryan Costello, makes up 16. Now, over the course here, the starter's got him away. Start by going past the grandstand here. And 24 fences to take. Fairly sedate pace. We go past the winning post. Go past coming back the other way. Fairly slow pace. Be really looking to take this on. Bell here Judah James Shea is the one that's poking his nose out. Probably gonna lead them into the first. He's got a couple of lengths from the rest as they get to the big first fence. Lead us over it, as is the rest. So they've all negotiated the first, and it is Bell here Jude. White clawed Monet as he gets to the second. Well, we hear a Jude took a chance on that as well as Claude Bain. We lost one. The fleet lips gone. James Shea loses his other horse to the top weight. And it is Belga here Jude still. He swing right handed. He's the centre of the course. Through the trees. Zoom in a little bit. And it is Belga here Jude from Claude Monet. We've got Trevandum on the inside. A little shuffle over towards the rail now. Racing pack is really tightly grouped. Just at the rear, we've got Roach. We get to the third. Leaders over it, as is the rest. And it's Belga Hero Jude. And Claude Monet and Yesero. The ground between all of those is I do, I do, I do, I do. We get to the fourth. The leaders over it. And there's the rest. A couple of stickier jumps. Still towards the rear is Roach and De Novo. And it's Belga Hero Jude that's going to lead them. Monet, G.I. Joe moving up, and one of the greys, Great White Hope alongside, I do, I do, I do. Inside of that is Yesero, up against the fence is Come Shamed, and the inside of that is Sheila, pushing through is a grey, Trivandrum as they go over the water. Grey out wide here in the yellow cap is Casban Mulligan. Over towards the fence is Await Your Reply and Chingford Cross. And two greys towards the rear are Roach, and Muldoon's Mirage and De Novo. As they go over the six, all still on their feet, so we've only lost the one. Still got two and a half miles to go. And it's Belga here a Jude. I do, I do, I do. The great G.I. Joe, the inside of him, Claude Monet. Followed through by the second pack. Still widest of boys, I think, Casban Mulligan, or that might come shamed as they go over the seventh. They'll jump that well. A couple of stickier jumps towards the rear again. Jim for cross having to be reminded. And it's Belga here a Jude. About five to G.I. Joe now. I do, I do, I do. Claw money on the inside. Yes, Aero moving well. Trevandrum's still there. They get to the eighth. We'll take that well. Come to the rail. All the fences now. Over here, Drew, that's going to lead them over the first. Jumps it well. Oh, we've lost one there. Come shame, has gone on the rail fence. Lucky to David Robertson. That's two down. Approach the next. Big ditch, leaders over it, poor jump there by, I think, uh, you know, as I do, I do, I do, and he's gone as well as wait your reply. So two more down there. And it's still Belga here, a Jew that's going to lead him into the second of the rail fences, gets over it, as does the rest. So we're losing a couple there, a bit of a change in the chasing pack, it's being led by Trivandrum now and Yesera, out wide the grey, great white hope, G.I. Joe, so a mid pack. And we've got Claude Monet towards the fence. Grey, Casban, Mulligan. We go over the 12th. One over that as well. Poor jump towards the rear by De Novo. Shuffled right back now. But it's still Belga here, Jude. Leads by about five to Trevandrum and Yesero. And Claude Monet. Great White Hope is out wide now. G.I. Joe, middle of those. Followed through by Roach has moved out wide now. Towards the fence is Casban, Mulligan. And followed through by Sheena and Chingford Cross. And about four lengths back to Muldoon's Mirage and De Novo we've lost sight of. So it's Belga here, Jude. Still leads them over the 13th. They won't get over that. Sticky jump there by Sheila. 
to my own house still to go. And it's Belga here, a dude from Yesero there, your one and two. Followed through by Claude Monet. We'll get over that one as well. Shot from the grandstand coming up. Maybe not. Here it is. So we see him from our position up here in the commentary box. Still Belga here, a dude, as they come past the winning post. We approach the water. that well. And it's still going to be Belga here at Jude from Yesera, Claude Monet, much closer all than our Great White Hope, and then Kazban Maladman, Ching the Cross, Roach and G.I. Joe, and a couple back to Sheila and De Novo as they go over the 16th. Leaders all over it. So Yesero joins Belga here at Jude in the lead now. Just over a mile to go. These two are neck and neck, and they're a couple of lengths back, back away from Chief for Crosses. Moved up well. Casman Mulligan having a good run on the inside. The answer there is Claude Monet and Great White Hope. The favourite G.I. Joe still sitting pretty as they go over the 17th. All over it. Roach out wide. Sheila moving through close order again. They're getting much closer now. They come inside the final mile. And it's just Sarah that leads them over the 18th. Didn't take it particularly well. These are the two fences close together. They're all over it. And it's Belga here at that takes up the lead again. From Yasera and Kazban Mulligan on the inside. And the outside is Chief Cross and Great White Hope. They're followed through by Sheila, Claude, Monet and Roach. G.I. Joe's just slipped back a little bit here. Alongside De Novo. But it's still Belga here at Jude. Into the 20th. Five from home. So four left to jump. And it's still Belga here at Jude. Leads by about four F again from Kazban Mulligan. Great White Hope. Yasero's under a little bit of pressure now. Chinfoot Cross. The outside is Roach and Sheila as they get to the 21st. They're all over that as well. The one that's not doing particularly well is G.I. Joe. Slipped right to the walls. The back of the pack inside the final half a mile. But it's Belga here at Jude with a seven length advantage from Kazban Mulligan. Yasero all under a lot of pressure. And off the bridle now. Catch this leader. They get over the 22nd. They're all over the No, G.I. Joe's gone. We didn't see it, but he's unseated his rider. The favourite's gone. G.I. Joe hits the deck for the first time this season. And they've just got a couple left to jump. And it's Belga here, a dude that leads by about four to Kazban Mulligan, trying to break break down that lead. Villasero in third. Great White Hope is fourth. Glaude Monet five. Roach, all well off the bridle now. and really being pushed along as we come down to the final quarter mile. But it's still Belga here, a dude. They've got a catch as he goes over the penalty. A poor jump by Kazban Mulligan. And he's even further back now. So it's Belga here, a dude, by about six. Inside the final furlong and a half to Yesero, Kazban Mulligan, Paul Bono, Great White Hope and Roach is over the last and it's still Belga here, a Jude by four. Here comes Yesero and Kazban Mulligan, we're inside the final furlong, but Jockey looked around and Belga here, a Jude, I don't think they're going to catch him. Half a furlong to go, Belga here, a Jude, here comes Yesero and Kazban Mulligan, Paul Bono on the outside, but Belga here, a Jude's going to hang on to this from Yesero in second, running on well as Paul Bono for third. Kazban Mulligan got up for fourth, it was a win for James Shape for Belga here, a Jude. The big news there is that G.I. Joe didn't finish. So gets to week 13. Unlucky for G.I. Joe. But the winner here is Belga Hirajud. Takes it from Yasero in second. Claude Monet was third and Kazman Mulligan was fourth. That's a win for James Shea. Well done. Takes it. Yasero for Darren Thompson was second. Third was Claude Monet for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Kazban Mulligan for David Robinson. And fifth was Roach for Paul O'Neill.